Hey there, it's Elizabeth and welcome back to another My Journaling Journey video. I am glad you're here. So today we're going to be going through April, hopefully, April, May, and June of um, my journal uh, for or from 2023, okay? So let's get these two aside. We're going to just get going here. And I make these journals... They are super simple. I absolutely love them, okay? I am I think this is my my jam right here, is making these journals, and it's out of just a plain white uh, mailing envelope. That's it, right? And then I put a little loop right up here with uh, my crochet thread. That's what I use to bind my books with. And yeah, that's how it's done. And I have a little note in here, this little tiny envelope. And here's a little thing that my husband found on a walk that we went on. Here's my little, this is my little dangle down the side. Some buttons and fun stuff. And then this is so cute. It's from Publix. <laughs> Isn't that cute? My husband saw it. It was free. And he's like, oh, here, you can use it for your journal. So super cute. Let's just make sure you're in frame. Okay. Move you up a little bit. And then, yeah, we're ready to rock. All right, so inside this one, which I hadn't done before, is I made a pocket. Nothing is in it, but there you have it. This is from, I think, a goodie bag, an Easter goodie bag. And the, the paper in here is just random paper that I have. It's nothing, you know, um, yeah, it's just random paper. So here we go, Palm City Bridge. Okay, so my husband and I went on a walk again. And there we are with a pupper. So cute. Yeah. Um, that's where he found this this thing up here. Like buoy, whatever that's called. I don't know. Um, we went to Chick-fil-A with the puppy and he enjoyed some chicken with us. <laughs> and then this I made. This looks like an Alstromeria. Yeah. That I um, pressed and put in my, put I laminated it and put it in the book. This is a little cross that I made out of some, whatever this is called, raffia. Yeah, I just learned how to make one. It was Palm Sunday. Um, Palm Sunday, Hosanna. And this is a pocket, I do believe, somehow. Is it, is it not? No, it's not. Okay, huh, Int yes it is, I thought it was. Yeah, and then this. So, called my aunt. Um, this again started uh, Lydia's February and June's um, prompt. So that was a lot of fun. I really enjoy drawing her prompts. <laughs> so celery, yum. That's what I was having for lunch. And again, these are random papers. Chronic illness, what you should know. It should really say what others should know, I guess. Um, a cello because it was here what always what sound always makes you happy and I love I love the cello um I got some pretty earrings uh this was cute this little tea it was a teacup and then I I backed it with paper and then but then I put a little hole in here like a little slit and put like cut myself a little tea bag right isn't that cute I was gonna make some more and I have the stuff to make it for a dear friend but I just have not haven't had the time um so I love that bed day I guess this was the nose nose so this was body wash that I painted I painted the bottle and then I actually went to the bathroom and tore the label off and stuck it in my book here's a pen one of my favorite pens that um that I purchased I guess. What is this? Oh, no, it's not. It's not a favorite pen. I just got some ballpoint pens. Oh, it was Happy Mail. Oh, dear me. I think it was. Yes, Happy Mail. Oh, yes. From Lilac Dream, Jade. So sweet. So I drew the pen. I like doing that. We went to Pop Shelf, and that was fun. My husband got me this Vogue book that I still have. I still haven't taken it apart because... I just have not had the time. And then um, he got me some baklava. I love baklava. Still doing my Bible studies. Um, drew this. I had done this a long time ago in another book. 
So that was Easter, no notes here, I guess. Was I doing, yeah, I was doing a two page spread, so I had a headache, nothing, again, nothing done. I don't know what this is about me. I'm not really sure why though. Huh. Mammogram, hmm. Binging YouTube helps me relax. So didn't walk or anything, just feeling tired. All right, let me see what happened here. <laughs> let me see what happened because this is right around the time that I was not that like I got sick because I was already sick I guess it was the time that out and about I don't know I don't know it was about the time that I found out that I had cancer so um man my shoulder hurts anyway that's so pretty and then I wasted it by not even journaling. <laughs> no journaling here either, but apparently I had a Panera flatbread pizza. Um, no journaling here either. My husband went to his doctor. This is just, um, I love this coffee cake so much. Uh, no walk in the morning film. Okay, I don't know. Um, yellow... Or, okay, so I was filming glue book videos. That's fun. Okay, this is my CT scan. So this is when I found out, felt, feeling super nervous today. Didn't help that my appointment with doctor, okay, this was my pulmonologist. And when I went in there, he told me that I, um, it was a nodule or indeed a tumor. Huh. Okay, so we weren't sure, and he was sending me for a biopsy. Yeah, Jehovah Rapha, which uh, is the, the Lord heals, the Lord who heals. And yeah, that's when I first found out. So when was this? This was not until April 20th. Wow. Huh. April 20th. Oh, That was a little note from my bub, my sweet boy. Oh gosh, yeah, this was a stressful, bit of stressful time. Oh, this was like they came to actually to my house to take my blood, which was interesting. I'd never heard about that before. These are flowers that I drew because um, that's just what I felt like doing. And they are actually also below in the, in my links, I have free printables. If you're interested, that's one of them the florals oh that's cute I don't know that came from packaging or something I'm not really sure this is a prayer um let's see oh this is the day that I made um my May book I received some ha some sweet happy mail nothing here complicated boy did that ever work out huh that's a mosquito but um yeah <laughs> And then here's my babies. No, not my babies, but my baby girl and her boyfriend must have come off. Oh my goodness, yeah. Bagels, peanut butter cookies. And that's the end of this one. Blessed assurance my daughter gave me that. Yeah. So, my goodness, my kids are have just been so, so great and so supportive as, of course, my husband is as well. Um, through this whole, you know, through 2023. It's, it was a rough year. <laughs> we're getting, you know, we're getting there though. We're getting things under control. So that's good. That's good. Um, and now I think when these, when these are coming out, it's going to be probably March. I don't even know. February, March. So here's this. This was um, something that came on flowers that my kids had for me. And again, little loop-de-loo with a lobster claw and some you know, just some ribbons, some silk ribbons on there. And I really, really like the way that this came out. Um, May. Yeah, this is May. Okay, I don't have it written on here. But again, these are the flowers that are down below in the free section. Let me just make sure you're in frame. Okay, so let me think. May 1st. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know why I was here. Oh, that's my biopsy, I bet. My biopsy. So 
this is again um, Lydia's February and June. Oh gosh, yeah, don't do it. The cottage cheese ice cream that was going around? No, 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 don't even bother. Beautiful sunrise. So I was still, I was still getting up and walking and all of that, doing my Bible study, um, doing my prompts and everything. This was a prompt. I think they had actually started at the beginning of the year. I'm, I can't remember, but uh, this was Messy Missy Creates and AJ's Inspired Life. We're doing another prompt. I think it was once a month maybe and this was this that came out it was fabric use a fabric image embellishment sequin topper applique so that that was this and it came out super cute and I love it um so that was a lot of fun let's see here is this okay nachos I drew a little nacho um there's that. Okay, let's see. I might have gotten my results here. I looked up my PET scan results. Yeah. And then I could tell that I had a malignant tumor in my right lung. Yeah. Hmm. And then just prayers and stuff. I mean, I said I was praising the Lord, you know, and nothing anywhere else. Okay, so I did have a malignant tumor in my lung, but I was still praising the Lord nonetheless. Yeah, so it was all good. Praise and prayer. Yes. This and this is a food packaging. These and then see a lot of these are blank because I just... Either I was too tired, didn't feel like it, whatever the case was. I got my perfume. <laughs> I guess I had a sub this day. Got uh, My perfume is from Victoria's Secret. So these are just pages that went unfinished. But I have all this stuff in here. So I had a migraine, um, some little memes and stuff. I walked the day, the day I was munching on this stuff. Yeah, see, I have a little bit written down. Um... I do have all these notes, however, in my, okay, this was a whole bunch of stuff I was supposed to do before surgery. Yeah, I was going to have to have surgery to get part of my lung removed. So yeah, journaling, unfortunately, was not at the top of the list. So this is Thursday the 11th. Still, I will sing. Yes, indeed. And here it is right here, the, the words to that song. I love it. Um, and then here I was in the hospital and had part of my lung removed. You are known and never alone. Amen. And yeah, super uncomfortable. I had a chest tube in. I was, I, I was actually in the hospital for a week. Um, yeah. I don't know where this was taken. I have no idea. Oh, my sweet daughter. She sent me Fear Is Not My Future. I love that song too. Was I in the hospital for Mother's Day for crying out loud? Maybe. Because if this was when I was in the hospital for my lung. Uh, let me see. No, I must. How could I have been home? That There's no way. Friday the 12th. Let me see. Um, fasting after blah, blah, blah. Allow Big Handsome into pre-op to wait with me. Okay, maybe this was just the time in recovery to say... Okay, the tumor was malignant, but the lymph nodes were clear. They thought... Okay. they. Okay, so this was not the lung surgery. He said that he thought it looks like stage one lung cancer, and that is not what I ended up having. I ended up having um, stage four malignant melanoma. So, yeah. Some ginger cookies or ice molasses cookies, yum. Yeah, I just was not in the mood for, <laughs> for um, journaling. But happy Mother's Day. My kids sent me a beautiful, beautiful arrangement. And then they came up, all four of them. So, so nice. Yeah, they did spend a lot of time up here. Then this was not here. I don't know where this was. 
they oh Daytona. They went up to Daytona to a like a concert. This is more stuff. His will is perfect. These are just dried flowers that from my Mother's Day bouquet. I had a little bit of wine, I guess. My we went to Chick-fil-A, I had almond joys. Yeah, so a lot of stuff is just stuck in here. And I haven't written about it. This is silly pictures of my kids. <laughs> And it's, you know what, guys? It's going to stay like this. It is. I'm not going to go. I'm probably not going to go back because it was so long ago, even though I do have all of the notes, you know? I have all of the notes, but... So, trip to the inlet. I don't know why we were going to the inlet. Oh, maybe I went with my sister-in-law. Yeah, I did. I went to my... I went to the inlet with my sister-in-law, and it rained the whole day. <laughs> oh, my goodness digestives um discover your side see and write this what are we in april may we're in may we were seriously thinking about moving again yep yep we had just decided that and that's what we're doing now that's why i'm packing up all this stuff we decided to move again because um this house that we're currently in it just is not suiting our needs right now so yeah Okay, so this is, yeah, this is just a text explaining to my kids what's happening and I, you know, have to go now have lung surgery. So um, I guess my kids were up again because <laughs> this is from their stuff. I just never journaled and we must have had um, Chinese food or something. I'm not, I don't even know what this is. It doesn't go in here. I think, I think my family was down. So I think my husband's family, I think two of his sisters were down. I think so. So we, yeah, we had a lot of fun with them. Here's a picture of us all with his sister and her husband. Yeah, went antiquing as per usual. Um, what, where's the date on here? Monday the 29th. Okay, so Memorial Day, I'm guessing. Is that right? Yeah. And then this, we, we went to a parade. Yeah, it was Memorial Day. So we went to a parade. Um, journal catch up. Yeah, well, obviously, I never did fully catch up. But I have all the stuffs in here. And so, yeah. I mean, if I ever get the hankering to go back, then I can do it. I have the notes. But if I don't, I don't. And it's not, it really is not that big of a deal to me. And then we have, now we have June. So let's see, June. Here's my little dangle. This is when I was getting radiation on my noggin because we later found out that I had six uh, tumors, lesions, ret mets, whatever you want to call them, in my brain, in my noggin. And it's all from melanoma, okay? It's all, it all started as a mole back in 2016. And if you watch my 2016 videos, you, you would know that. <laughs> okay, so... I don't know what that was about. Um, uh, go see the oncologist. I really, really enjoy our team of oncologists. I really, really do. I love doing these things too. Like, you know, when you go to the doctor's office, you have to fill out paperwork. And it says like, you know, whose phone number is it and what's their relationship. And I said, gorgeous husband. And then up here, your marital status, happily married. <laughs> I love doing that. Oh yeah. Oh, my daughter got a beautiful um, rose tattoo. It's beautiful shading and line work. And then um, it was a symbol for my parents, for my mom and dad who have both passed away. Um, some happy mail. <laughs> Looking, I guess, maybe did we start out? Okay, no. I thought maybe... I received some happy mail from Penny and Allison. Super sweet. Um, again, with the prompts, I was doing pretty well with them. Um, if you want to take a screenshot of these names, these are a lot of the people that I watch on um, YouTube. So AJ's Inspired Life, Chatty Lane Creates, 
It's only paper, a life full of meaning, messy, missy creates, recreations by Brooke, Janet Nash, Notes and Hughes, which is now um, Heart Dive 365. Nova Scotia Living, The Endless Adventure, Joshua Alexander, Fearfully Created, February and June, and Rebecca Hoot. Yes, those are my go-tos for YouTube. Um, of course, I'll watch anything, you know, as it pops up, but those are... I usually go to home first and watch whatever, and then, you know... Then after that, I'll go to my subscriptions, but I'm trying to figure out, okay, it's the eighth. So, yep, tucks, tags, pockets, surprise. It must've been a surprise visit, was it? I don't know. Oh yeah, okay, so surprise. We were expecting my daughter to come up and then my son and his wife came up. So that was a lovely surprise. Always good when your kids come. They went out antiquing and got some uranium glass. Sweet Allison sent happy mail. Um, let's see, was this? Okay, so lobectomy, right lower, yeah. So this is when I went in. Oh my goodness, yeah. And I was, these are pictures of bruises. Like my whole arms were just bruised from them trying to stick me oh my heavens to betsy these are all of the um what i did was i took screenshots of my husband's uh my husband was texting a group chat you know letting everybody know what was going on step by step and so i ended up um uh screenshotting them and printing them out because my brain wasn't working all that great <laughs> you know so yeah, I did pretty well though. I did pretty well. And in fact, before I left the hospital, I was walking three miles. So, you know, up and down the hallway. I, I was only supposed to be in there a couple of days and I, I think I ended up in there for a week. So that was no fun, but it is what it is, you know? And my kids were there and it was, it was nice. Was I still there on Father's Day? I guess so. And I finally got to come home the day after Father's Day. Yeah, because I had a pneumothorax. I had too much air in my chest cavity. So that's why they were keeping me. And then all of this, like, sweet happy mail, what we were watching, little memes I would put in. I was taking a bath, which is actually surprising because surely, well, I guess I had all my stitches removed. I didn't have stitches. I had inside. Anyway, so I guess I took a bath. And I cleaned, apparently, or somebody did. If I didn't, somebody did. And then this is I when I I do believe sweet gifts from family. I do believe I started uh, treatments, radiation treatments soon because I did have a brain scan and that's what showed that I had six Mets in there. So my kids were down or up again. Oh, I love them. Yeah, I remember this was like right after I got home from surgery. Like, did I get home on a Friday and I, this was a Saturday? Is that right? That's craziness if it was. No, okay. I must have got home on a, on a Monday. Okay, yeah, I got home on a Monday, but then that Saturday I was out and about at the, to the flea market with my kids. Because <laughs> why not? And then the next day, we went to the neighborhood market, which is so, so fun. So that was a lot of fun. Another bath, just trying to relax and mm, trying to, oh, here was my conquer list via Allison. She was so sweet. Um, Allison from AJ's Inspired Life. So I wanted to, you know, continue with my Bible study. I wanted to start back to walking again. Um, even though I had been walking when I was at the hospital, but... Man, when I got home, it was it was rough. So yeah, I wanted to clean my desk, um, scrub the adhesive off. My gosh, when they put adhesive on you, it's like it's there to stay, you know. Uh, this was a sweet, sweet um, prompt. I don't know if you can see it or if it's too glare. No, you can see it. Oh my gosh, I loved this so so much. This was. Um, the song was She is a Warrior, and it was by AJ's Inspired Life from Sweet Allison. And she had done, 
I think it was her own prompt, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't write anything about it, but then she dedicated it to me and I was so, I was just, yeah, it was planned to create, I think. No, inspired to create was her, was her and Missy's prompt list or prompt for the month. And I was just so touched. I was so touched. Um, I went, okay, so this must have been the first time I went to get my noggin zapped. And then my husband got me um, McDonald's on the way home. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was my surgeon. And I did another foot peel again. Yeah. And that was the end of that month. So I was doing okay. I was, um, I'm still even to this day. And we're talking six, seven, seven months after my surgery. And I'm still sore with uh, like neuropathic pain. So that's annoying. Let me just tell you. All right, let's see here. Um, I have just a few more, so and I don't think a lot of them are are written so much in. So let's see. That was June. So here we have July. Okay. So let's see. July, uh, September, October, October, um, June, July. Uh, okay, August. All right. Yeah. So. We'll, Let's just see how far we can get. I know you guys like the shorter videos, but I really need to pack this room up, if you know what I mean. Um, let's just, maybe we'll just get through this. Yeah, because there's probably not much in here. Okay, it's a mess, <laughs> is what it looks like to me. It's a mess. So, oh my gosh, that was crazy. Never a dull moment. My husband... Hullabaloo at 5 a.m. My husband rushed in the room searching for aspirin, saying he might need to go to the ER. Holy cannoli. We were, I was in such a state of freaking out. We hop, we didn't have any aspirin in the house. We hopped in the car, or not in the car, in the cart, sped over to his parents' house, who were out of town at the time, but sped over there to see if they had aspirin, popping a tire on the way, okay, and we get there, we get the aspirin, he takes it, we end up taking his dad's golf cart back home and leaving our golf cart there. What a way to start a day. Oh my gosh, what a way to start a month, let me tell you. So anyway, so I'm just healing. Um, my kids were back up because we went to Abbey Rose Estates. Yeah, they came up quite a lot during this time and I loved every minute of it. Um... I had three out of five noggin blasts for for my um, my meds in my brain. So yeah, um, this had happy mail in it. A rat snake on the dock. My my sweet uh, daughter in law caught it. <laughs> the humor tumor. Oh my goodness, that's what my kids were calling my my brain. The humor. Humor tumors can cause personality differences. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then my daughter says, oh my gosh, what if you're not funny anymore? Hmm. My son says, hmm, would you rather be funny for six months or live the rest of your life? <laughs> oh, my kids are hilarious. Oh my gosh. And then I called all my tumors or the Mets, whatever you want to call them, the lesions in my noggin, the Bradley bunch, because somebody had named the tumor in my lung Brad. I think I did. I think I named him Brad. And then these tumors were, or lesions, whatever, were the Bradley Bunch. Oh my gosh. I mean, like, if you cannot laugh about it, then, you know, what you gonna do, you know? You're gonna cry about it. And I don't feel like doing that. I'm not, I don't cry. I'm not a big crier. These are, this is my kids, uh, they collect uranium glass. My son and his wife. So very cool and feeling grippy. Yeah, that has to do with my side where they removed part of my lung. It still to this day is grippy. We went to Cinco de Mayo. Um, yeah, this is the stuff that they would put on me. Let me see. Did I go, maybe I was going to the oncologist and I, I can't remember if I was getting my, uh, I was out walking though. I know, I do know that. And I don't know, my daughter was out of town with her, with the my husband's family. I was still doing the um, prompt lists. Um, yeah, these were yummy. 
I don't know what they were, but they were yummy. It was a cherry and a plum, I think. Mmm. Yeah. This must have been, like, um, when my, yeah, when my father passed away. He had been gone, I think, a year at this time. That was very, very rough. I got this sweet, happy mail from Jana Harris. And then here, I just have stuff shoved in here. Urgent care. Somebody went to urgent. Oh, I went to urgent care. I wonder if I had, if I had already started at this point, um, what's it called? Uh, immunotherapy. I might have. And then I got really super, super sick with that. So that was July. Um, no, it was this month, July. So this is, this must be August. And I, this is actually the discharge folder, but I just made it into a journal like all the other journals. So, and just left it plain because it was there, but notes. Um, let's see. I was, okay, I had colitis and it was horrible. Okay, horrible. Yes, I went in on August 6th, which which was my daughter's birthday. Was it? Yes, it was her birthday, and I was already in the hospital. I was so upset. I can hear you, Dad. That's nah, okay. Um, I did type. Okay, I ended up printing out, typing up and printing out my husband's, you know, like when he does the text, group text. Yeah, so that was him visiting me. This was my diet, which was basically nothing. Yeah, it was all like liquid, <laughs> all liquid. It was bad. It was not a happy month for me at all. Still more stuff. And then hopefully I got discharged this day, perhaps. Yeah, that's what's in here is, oh, I had a full breakfast on the 11th and I went in on the 6th. So I've been there five days, five or six days. Maybe I went in there on the 5th. So I was discharged late afternoon. Okay, yeah, so I was in there about a week. Um, and then when we got home, I had to like stay hydrated. I had to go to my oncologist often to get hydrated uh, with an IV. Yeah, we were having our roof redone. <laughs> Gosh, life doesn't stop, you know what I mean? I probably had to go get JFK hospital. So this, I had a PET scan another PET scan. Yeah, there you have it. Yeah, so that's it. This journal consists of nothing but stuff put in here, shoved in here. I had to keep tra start keeping track of my blood pressure. My son sent me a card or gave me a card. Um, there's little Remington taking care of me on the couch. My kids came up again, so we all went out to breakfast. Oh, and I can see here I have my port already, so... There's that. I made a book that day. Yeah, so this was a beautiful happy mail I received from Indonesia. Isn't that gorgeous? So beautiful. So beautiful from sweet Inda. Oh my goodness. And then this, I don't know what that's from. I went to Sonic apparently. And my, oh, Jersey Mike's. This must have been an MRI. I must have had a brain MRI because there's a Jersey Mike's up there. And I was starving. I was starving. Let me see here. Wait a minute. The 22nd? Monday? I know there was like, I literally, I got discharged one time for something. Hmm. I Maybe it was, okay, maybe it was a different time. I can't remember. Anyway, had a bath with a bath bomb. Um, more oncology. Uh, this chicken, whatever it's called, Popeyes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, and this was after my colitis, guys. After, oh geez. And my, I, I don't know. I think this was lemon lemon ice. I was having to drink, start drinking body armor, which is what I drink every day. And yeah, some cards. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, so like nothing got done in the month of August because I was back in the hospital and I had colitis because of the immunotherapy 
immunotherapy. Yeah. Was that right? That was August. Yeah, that was August. Here's September real fast. Again, there's not going to be much to this, so I'll just quickly flip through it. But again, an envelope journal. I hope that last time I was in frame, for goodness sake. Uh, this was for my dad. Um, yeah, some of these pages are done, but they're not, they're not journaled on. I was on the Brat Diet, which is bananas, rice, applesauce, and toast. That's all, yeah, I lost like 10 or 15 pounds. I did go down to my kid's house though because this is a picture of my girlfriend's craft room. And so I must have been down there for something. Huh, I don't know. It would have helped if I journaled. I Again, I do have the notes. It's really not that big of a deal to me. I made this little cute little thing. Yeah, so I had the, I was able to come in here and decorate some pages. This is from Sweet Perrette. Um, this is when I got my journal from Rookie Journal, Inda. Or not a journal, a Happy Mail. Um, or the, maybe this is when I unboxed it, probably. When I opened it, when I got home. Pringles, <laughs> lids, yeah. I have the days and dates in here, perhaps. Yeah, I have all the days and dates in here, but none, no, um, of what I did or anything. This was my husband's hospital bracelet for some reason. Yeah, see, I mean, it's really a shame that I have this journal and it's all blank, but you know what? It shows me what was happening during this month. Not much because I was healing and I was tired and I was battling and fighting. And <laughs> yeah, so it's all good. And then this, I think, was the first time maybe we had to go down. Where was that? What was this about? Um, this was the first time we went down for my husband. He had to have, was that right? Why do I have this? I can't remember. Huh. I think that he was having his his first procedure to find out why he was bleeding. We didn't find out until just recently, 2024. So, oh, and then my sunshine got married. Look at that. Oh, I really wish I had written. I, ha I have all the stuff for it. I just haven't done it. There they are. They're so beautiful. Yeah. I just need to do it. I, will I? I don't know. I really don't know. I had to go to the hospital to get a portogram done because my port had clogged up. See, some of the stuff I, I did write about, I decorated and wrote about, and then the uh, you know some stuff I didn't. And that's just how it went, you know? That is just how it went. I should probably take these out because if I'm not using them in here now, then I'll use them somewhere else. House hunting, <laughs> more house hunting, and the blank pages, all. Oh, that was my, both my sweet kids at work. They found each other at work and took a picture together. <laughs> because my daughter, well, I didn't, I don't even, I don't guess I told you because I probably didn't write it down. My daughter started working where my son works. Um, she quit teaching. Um, she just felt that it was just not for her. I went back to the oncologist and there was blood return. I was very happy. These are more doodles that are down below in the free printables. Yeah, so she decided that teaching just wasn't for her. Uh, it's a whole lot of work with not a lot um, of money and a lot of stress, a lot of time, a lot of energy. Um, yeah, and she just, you know, she can't live off of, you know, off of that. You know what I mean? Even though she did enjoy it very much, she was not making an, enough to live on her own. So, okay, now we have October. October. So, let me just make sure. Okay, so some of these, yeah, we were getting a new roof put on and the roof was leaking. So, hmm, there's something not right about that. <laughs> this is when I started using a pre-made journal. 
However, I took the pages out of it and sewed them into my own decorated journal. And that is, it just, again, make it easier on myself and hope that there's my sweet girl at work, hoping that I could try to keep up. And I do believe this might have been actually more house hunting. This might have been actually a book, more house hunting, that I actually finished. This might be the only one I finished, I actually finished. Um, from the time I got sick, you know? Yeah, I really like this a lot. I started getting fevers. I'm sure I had to go to the stinking hospital. I don't even know. Got new gutters put on and they put it right in front of the window. I mean, everything we've had done to this house, we've had some kind of mishap, some somehow or another. My husband had to go to urgent care and he was diagnosed with COVID. Oh my goodness. We had lasted all those years without having it. And then we got it. We both got it. So yeah, this was a lot easier on me to do. Um, there's my husband at the second time he went and they didn't find anything um, in his intestines. My son dressed up as... <laughs> as a dinosaur a blow-up dinosaur yes for Halloween Zaxby's I got Zaxby's more house hunting uh then I started these these pills and I had a reaction to those and I was seeing these targets so I had to go to the hospital oh my heaven so there's October right here is November same old story um this is an envelope I did not do a tassel on the end um, and this is how this came out. Not a whole lot. Our anniversary. I have all my all my numbers and my days put in here, but nothing hardly is written. So, yeah. More house hunting. Tea. My husband made some soup. And just little prayers and, and such. Um, that's my husband. This was um, information on how I was supposed to take my um, my uh, targeted drug therapy or oral chemotherapy. My husband took me to a Mediterranean little cafe thing. That was really cool. More house hunting. Little memes. Let me see. Um, cyber knife. Cyber night. Oh, I have to go because I have to go every three months for an MRI. What was that? Echocardiogram. I needed that. Uh, dermatology appointment. We went. Um, okay, this was another time we were down south for my husband for his appointment. I so now I'm confused. But we went to this food and beverage. It's a. They're Italian. They are Italian, and it was so good. The pizza was so good. My kids were at. No, my daughter and her boyfriend went to um, Orlando. Yeah. I don't know how many times we went. Oh, you know what? One of the hotels, okay, back in September when I was talking about hotels, that was when my son was getting married. That's what that was. Just so that everyone, more house hunting, good gravy day, a lot of house hunting. So yeah, this, this book of November is pretty much empty. Um, my husband made homemade pizza. The kids were up for a visit. There they are for Thanksgiving. Okay. Yeah. This Thanksgiving, they came up here to spend Thanksgiving with us. And yeah, we went out with the kids. My husband wasn't, wasn't feeling well. So the four of us went out. We went to have Mexican for lunch. We played games in the evening. Little Remington was a sad puppy missing his, missing his, um, you know, sunshine and beauty queen. So, you know, I did do a little bit toward the end, but yeah, but not a whole lot up here, I can tell you. So there's that, that's November. And then we have one more. And that was actually a happy mail that I received. Um, and it was so unbelievably sweet. So unbelievably sweet. Let me leave that there for you. I just have it right over here. Um, all right, come on. Here it is. And you guys have seen this, this Christmas. So this is what I did for 2023 December, right? 
and I do still have to finish it, but it's a whole lot easier to finish stuff when it's more recent, okay? So I have all this for Christmas Day and my notes and stuff, stuff stuck in here, but this was a lot of fun. This was made out of little envelopes, and then I, I made it so that it was four days per layout, okay? So still house hunting, so this was the first, the second, the third, the fourth, you know. So four days are in here. I was trying to still do um, Lydia's um, prompts. And yeah, so I had four days in here. Made this cute little tag. That's, I really enjoyed that. This goes up, this goes over. So a lot of fun stuff in here. A lot of pockets and tucks and tags and here we were we were repainting our house so these were the colors we were looking at open houses so lots of different things in doctor's offices um yeah fun stuff remington was getting up in the middle of the night to to go outside and it was killing us <laughs> um here are some more hospital bracelets for me. My kids were up. My daughter was up. No, this is when she went to Boston. Yeah, that's when she went to Boston in December. Um, yeah. So you guys have seen me make most of these things, or some of them anyway. So this, all I have to fill in. But all of these are envelopes. So that was my um, dermatology when I was diagnosed yet again with melanoma Oof, on my shoulder this was Christmas time so I have all my print pictures in here I just need to come out cut them out and design the pages again I still have all of my notes so yeah that's how this book is turning out and I am loving it loving it it's so stinking cute oops that goes in there and I've really really enjoyed it so there you have it. I know this was a little bit longer, sorry for that, but it was super fun going through all of these journals. Um, I really, really enjoyed, um, well, this journal especially, but I really enjoy these journals, the ones that are um, made of the white envelope. It's just the perfect size. It just, it feels so good. You can take it places, it's not obtrusive and, yeah, so I really enjoy doing journals this way, and I think I'm just going to continue because I have a whole box of white envelopes. So, yes, okay, we're done with 2023. I can't believe it. I hope you enjoyed um, going through all of my journals from way back from when I first started in 2015 and all the way up to here. And then now that I have this playlist already um, made, then at the end of next or at the end of this year I will then go back and do you know an end of the year flip of my 2024 journals um, all in one fell swoop or in two separate videos and then just keep adding to that playlist so if you want to see the whole entire journaling journey go back to the beginning in 2015 it'll all be in the playlist which is down below in the description box so I want to thank you so much for your time I really appreciate you sharing it with me I know it's precious and I just appreciate that you choose to spend it with me and uh yeah uh thanks again just for hanging out and walking through these journals with me going down memory lane and i will uh wish you a great rest of your day and a wonderful week and i'll talk to y'all real soon bye for now